Hey guys, so this is me preparing to go to the market and this is the outfit that I, I had on that day. Yeah, because it had been trained so it was safe for me to wear open shoes. And I'm also uh, carrying these coconuts which I had and uh, they were going to go bad in my ID of course because of the ongoing protests in town. And of course my wallet does not have money. We operate by M-Pesa nowadays. And so this is me just uh, going to the market. And unfortunately as usual I couldn't record at the market because I'm too paranoid uh, that uh, my phone will be stolen or something. Um, because of that, this is uh, what I got from the market. So let us unbox with you and I hope that you'll enjoy this video. If you are new, please remember to subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. So I got these uh, gadgets, Zine gadgets and uh, cucumbers. A kilo was going for a hundred bob. So th that one is a combination of a kilo. And then these potatoes, I was given the three pieces at uh, 250. But if you buy one, you buy at uh, 100 bob. And then I, I had the machungwa. That one was going for 60 bob a kilo. And I have, I think this one is uh, three kilos. Alafo Danasi was 50 shillings. Uh, the carrots are back in stock. So all these were going for 100 if you relate gorogoro moja one gorogoro is the one that is going for 100 bob which is quite affordable um the apples are too expensive the green ones are at, at 35 bob and that one is 25 so that one is expensive and then this was half a kilo of uh, green hoes and i took the small ones and then these uh tunda this i think it's ton melon was going for 200 no it was going for five bob a piece and then got, i got some piece and then i got some coconut and that is the coconut water i got a few bananas it was the kukula too and then i also passed by kmc apple kmc nilin chukwa easy bones uh they are called beef bone but actually it's gonna nyama mob sana although i intend to use them to make soup yeah, I have missed bone soup and I nyungu. So I'll be making beef beef broth. I think it is called beef broth in proper English. Uh, with these bones. And I got uh, two of them. Those are, those are like uh, two kgs. So I got two of them. And then I also got uh, just a normal beef on bone. I in a meat on bone. That one I got one kg of it. Actually, I hadn't realized that the beef bones are two kg, two kg. And also got this uh, 24 pack at, uh, I think it was 590. So the beef was 550 and these balls were 270 and the bones were at 140 per kg. So that is what I got uh, from that day. Uh, in your city, Hapa. Uh, this is everything 550 for the meat to 70, 590, and 280. So that is everything that I got from the market. Oh, and then uh, there was other things. So I'm gonna clear the sink and I'll show you everything that I got now. Okay, so I know that it might be wrong, but uh, these things that I get from the market, me, I wash them with dish soap. So to rinse the soap off completely, I normally uh, rinse them firstly with plain water. And then as you have seen uh, in the previous clip, I use water and vinegar. So I soak them in water and vinegar for a while, maybe about uh, um. Two, two or so minutes and then I rinse them off. So this uh, technique, Nilisoma Kitambo, this, show, this soap is not bad, although there is a dedicated soap for washing your, your, your fruits. But me, I normally use dish soap because I'm a baby gikomba and, uh, I don't know, just the way these things are handled, that was nakwanga chafu. So guys, if you know a better method, please tell me. Because Nikiosha even do naskianga zime, zime ngara vizuri. So I leave them to soak as I, I wash the oranges and then I rinse one by one. Yache zote zi soak and then I finish. 
So let us go ahead and wash all these fruits and uh, yeah, see you when, when we are done. Okay, so now we are going to keep away the potatoes. Wanaweka hizo karatasi ndio uchafu isitoke like mchanga isitoke kwa the potatoes to the paper. And yeah, so I'm going to stack them down here. Alafu they get bad sometimes. Also if you have a better way of storing potatoes, then you can share it down below in the comment section. I'll really appreciate. Okay, so for the meat, I remove it from these uh, nini, these packs that I bought them in because they were leaking for some reason. So I figured out if I put them in the fridge this way, it will leak too bad before they freeze and then they make my freezer to smell bad. So I'm going to remove them here and put them in a separate container. Also for the bones, I wanted to keep them that way, but I realized ah, has nini vizuri. so I washed them. Uh, again, I also wash meat in vinegar to remove all the dirt. So, nili ziosha in plain water and vinegar. And then I repack them. I love when kazi freeze. Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through the air. I felt it's paid for all is said and done. Oh, I am restricted, fixed upon the web. I need to kick the habit that my mind is breathing in. Break out, I've got to see. Spent all my life. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So I got these nyanyas in two, the normal ones, alafu na bondeka. So I bought them at 200 shillings, all of them. Uh, the bondeka ones, make sure to choose the ones that is mefinya too, but they are still good. And then the normal ones. So I think the market is selling them better because these ones were five bob, the normal ones, the ones that has jaribika, and then the bondeka were also uh, quite a number. And then the onions, I bought them for 300 shillings. Onions are still high. So nilichago is a 10, 10 bob and uh, total spend was 300 bob. And so I'm just going to wash the nyanyas and then I cut them like this. And then I'm going to fry them. Of course, lazima tuwenje kidogo. So I'm going to fry them in uh, onions and um, I actually onions na, na dania, na, not dania, onions na, na kitungu saumu. And then I blend them and then I keep them. So this is before they are blended. So I, I just blend them and then I keep them in packs that natua tumara moja ni kitumia. And these are the two small, small packs that I have that I, I, I got from a thrift shop, most of them, and then the others, Nizilez Mekwa Zikisha Vitu. So uh, I keep them like this, Nikitaka Kutumia, I just remove one pack and then I use them. That is after Nyanya Zangu Zanyan Menunwa Zimeisha. And so this is uh, everything now from the market. Everything now from the market, I have washed it and it is ready to be kept. And this is how I have kept them. I'm not thinking about the way you keep my world from spinning I'm just thinking about your eyes Just don't know if I've been faking or pretending But I know I never felt so damn alive I don't know if I believe the information given That there is someone by your side Coming back inside my body for a second There is no way that I'm never gonna try Hello where you at, where you been, tell me everything about you Go slow, so I can write it down and become the perfect man for you What you like, what you don't, you should never be flying so Okay, so as you may know, I wrap my uh, my my gadgets and hohos in paper towel and uh, cling film. Uh, this way they are tight and there is no air that goes in. And then I keep them either in a nylon paper or just like that. And then, uh, yeah, this is uh, this uh, fresh box. I keep everything there. I keep quite extra. I keep somewhere else. And this is my shopping now for the month. Uh, I got uh, this 2kg sugar bag. It should finish me one month if I don't get uh, visitors. And then I also got uh, milk. This is just for the week. Uh, it will last me like two weeks because I take uh, milk tea every other day. So these five packs will take me for two weeks. Yeah, and then I have mala. This is a lifesaver. On the days that I'm lazy, I don't I don't cook. I wanna to be a tumala. So I got uh, three packets of this. And then I also got uh, this Royco. Uh, I think Royco is the only spice that I use mostly. But squeezy one as a kwaribu, they put too much uh, salt in them. It's like salt nowadays. But I like the flavor. And then I got vinegar. I use it to wash my vegetables and I also use it to clean my fridge and also i got these uh, paper towels i tend to use a lot of them so i'm buying this like every other two or three weeks yeah and then i also got uh, this uh, scouring powder for the toilet uh, not because i don't to have toilet soap but i wanted that uh, fresh smell in the toilet of uh, lavender 
and I got this uh, white dental toothpaste because it was on offer and I needed some. Yeah, I've never used that brand, so I hope they panda. And then I got this toast in lavender. Alafi nakuja na akoka sabuni kalanzo kenya watu wapendi, but me I actually love it. That uh, menthol whatever, I actually love it. So this one is a kg. I think it was going for 393 shillings or something, something close to that. And then uh, this is the Kalanzo soap that I, I was talking about. Yeah, and this is the whole shopping now from the supermarket for the month. Nothing much. I still have other things. So this was just a little uh, restock. Yeah. I also got uh, to make some snacks. You will see them in the next few clips. So I made uh, these ones ni njugu. I also made uh, some cookies. I also made, uh, what was it, kashata, but I think it is not on this video. I'll make it in a separate video. Yeah, and these are snacks that will take me maybe for like two weeks. So this way I don't have to buy them because I can make my own at home. I love a friend of mine gifted me these uh, these tea bags. So I have tea bags in all flavors. Karibuni sana kwangu. If you are a lover of tea, you are welcome so that we can take these ones together. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.